Hi, we're here at Atalaya, which is actually a castle at Huntington Beach State Park, and I'm joined by park manager Keith Windham. And Keith, Atalaya is one of the things that people come to see when they come to Huntington Beach, isn't it? That's right, Susan. The Huntington Beach is visited by over 500,000 visitors a year, and almost everyone finds their way through Adelaide during their stay here. It really is fantastic, and, and this is part of why Huntington Beach State Park is here. And tell me a little bit about the history um, that someone can experience when they visit Adelaide. Sure, Adelaide was built by Archer Huntington and his wife Anna Hyatt Huntington. Uh, it was built from 1931 to 1933. And it was actually a, um, their winter residence, and they were looking for a warmer winter climate to help Mrs. Huntington recuperate from tuberculosis. So they had some uh, newspaper clipping, clippings of some rice plantations for sale on the coast of South Carolina. They came down from New York uh, around January of 1930 to take a look at the property, and they purchased the, uh, there were four rice plantations, and they purchased them. They, they loved the oak trees and, and the, uh, the, the big vines and everything coming off the, um, the Waccamaw River. And they thought it'd be a perfect setting for a, for a home and for an outdoor sculpture garden, which uh, Brook Green Gardens, they were the founders of Brook Green Gardens, which we know is the largest outdoor sculpture garden in the world. And they uh, built Adelaide. Adelaide is a Spanish uh, home, which is, um, resembles what Mr. Huntington saw on his trips to Spain. He, he uh, loved the Spanish architecture and mm -hmm. history. And Adelaide, which means watchtower in Spanish, they were like lookout towers along the Mediterranean coast of Spain. Yeah, and it really is. It's absolutely fantastic to come and visit. Um, and the architecture of it is just, um, really does take you back. It's a wonderful thing to be able to come and visit here. Now, if you come and visit Adelaide, you can take a walking tour yourself, but I understand you also have guided tours. And tell me a little bit about what the visitor may see if they walk through Adelaide. Well, if they walk through Adelaide, um, we have a brochure that, that, that diagrams the whole, the sketches of the house, the interior. And um, they'll go through Anna's outdoor studio, her indoor studio, and, and pretty much all the living quarters that they used while they were here. They even had a, a horse stable. Uh, while they were here. Anna, Anna was famous for doing um, sculpt, sculptures of, of animals and um, she, had, she had horses that she did uh, sculpting from and a actually um, Rocinante, the, uh, the horse of Don Quixote, the, the famous Spanish hero, he was, um, that was done here. Anna did that while she was here. Also. It, it really is an absolutely beautiful spot to come and visit, whether you tour it on your own or you take one of the guided tours. Um, it's really peaceful and it's a great way to see um, some of South Carolina's history.